the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? This has been a round of a century. I was not supposed to win this. So now you guys are listening because we did win. And I can glorify God the way I want to glorify him. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with quick hits. It is good to be back. Um, we're going to have a fun show today. Uh, we're going to get into where Jamal Charlo and Dimitri Bavol go in the pound for pound rankings. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Please follow us on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Our new pound for pound rankings are out. We're going to get into that and break it down here. Um, let's get in. Uh, also, please subscribe to us on Texas Boxing Scene, Texas Boxing Scene on um, YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to uh, Autism Research and Recovery. Um, it's near and dear to our heart. Please like and subscribe to that channel. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, Dimitri Bavol, uh obviously upset Canelo. Jamel Charlo becomes undisputed at one fifth. Jamel Charlo, I say Jamal, I'm sorry, Jamel Charlo. Uh, becomes undisputed at 154. So both those guys need to go in the pound for pound rankings. Um, and Canelo lost, so he's out. So who's the new pound for pound king? We're gonna I'm gonna put Linky, we're gonna give you my top 10. Uh, but we're gonna spend the show on talking about A, who's the new pound for pound king. Um, that's easy for me. Canelo lost, he loses his crown. So number two becomes number one, and that's Alexander Usyk. Since we've been doing this channel, we've had um ultimately four pound for pound kings, right? Post Mayweather, we've had four pound for pound kings. Andre Ward, he retired, give it to Crawford. Canelo, the th- uh, uh, dethroned Crawford by knocking out a light heavyweight. Um, Canelo now loses. We need a new pound for pound king. That's Alexander Usyk, who's number two, undisputed at a uh, cruiser, goes up to heavyweight, wins three belts there, and he'll shortly become undisputed, perhaps, when he beats. Tyson Fury in the not so distant future if that fight does happen. <clears throat> um, let's get into where Jamel Charlo ranks first. Um, guys, that was a really, really A plus performance from Jamel Charlo. Um, I was leaning towards picking Charlo. I, I, I thought he was the better boxer. He just needed to start earlier, get aggressive early, let his hands go earlier. I talked to Derek James. You can check out that interview in Texas Boxing Scene. Um, he basically said, no, um, that they were going to fight the same plan. He was going to get going and, and win the fight in the last few rounds. I talked to Jesus Ramos. That's his weight class. Ramos told me Castano was going to win. I talked to Shane Mosley Jr. Shane Mosley Jr. told me Castano was going to win. So um, I, I, I was kind of led into thinking that, and I picked – Castano and I said, so "Okay, Castano is going to win because it's going to look similar to the first fight." Um, and Charlo fought a beautiful fight. Charlo won the early rounds. Castano rallied in the middle rounds, and then I'd say the last three, four rounds, Charlo dominated, got the stoppage, beautiful uppercut, dropped Charlo, uh, dropped Castano in this delayed motion kind of thing. Uh, Castano was, for reasons unknown, allowed to continue, and, and Charlo, the great finisher that he is, sealed the deal, uh, picked up the 10th round stoppage. Um, where does he go pound for pound? All right, so Usyk is one. In a way, it goes from three to two. Uh, I put Spence at three, and this is where it gets complicated. Because for four, to me, it's either Crawford at four, or Castano or Charlo at four. Crawford was undisputed at 40. He's won a belt at 47. I'm still giving Crawford number four pound for pound. Jamel Charlo goes to five. Guys think that's unfair. Should he be higher? Should he be lower? Uh, he's undisputed. He's a two time champ. He's, he's beaten now. He's cleaned out kind of the 47 division. Uh, I'm sorry, the 54 division. The guy that beat him, Harrison, he came back and knocked out. The guy who fought him to the draw, who most think also beat him, he comes back and knocks him out. So Charlo's better in a rematch. Jamel Charlo's better in a rematch, right? For sure. Um, 
He prepares, he adjusts, he takes care of business, and he's clean at the division, but it's the only division he's won it. And, 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 I, and I got Spence ahead of him, and Spence has only won three belts in one class. So I don't want to, you know, Charles, uh, Spence, I think, is more dominating against better competition, which is why I have him three. Crawford's collected more belts and has been dominant as well. He stopped everyone at 47 that he's fought. I think that matters. Um, but the best ones is, is Porter by far. And that, that it really drops off Jeff Horn, you know, guys like that. Spence has a much better resume. Like you just put their resumes. Spence versus Crawford. Spence is better. That's why I got Spence ahead of Crawford. And then I, I would say Crawford and Tallow are real close, but I got Crawford for Tallow five. Um, so let me know what you guys think of that pick. Um, and then after that, um, so that's Usyk one in a way two. um, Spence three, Crawford four, Jamel Charlo five. And then I put Dimitri Bavol six. Um, the reason why I have him six after he dethroned the Pound for Pound King is because he really hasn't looked good since the Joe Smith Jr. fight. He's got three wins since the Joe Smith Jr. fight, which was in 2019, uh, early 2019. He's got a win over Lennon Castillo, which he did not look good in at all. He won wide. He got clocked a few times. He went the distance with a guy who doesn't even belong in the ring with him. Then he fought Richards and almost gave the fight away in 2020. But Usman in 2021 looked a little better. Still didn't look like you know, anyone who could compete with Canelo. So, I mean, he's got a resume. He's a long-reigning champ. He doesn't have a ton of big names. He's got decent names. Uh, but Canelo's really it. And he did not look good. He did not look like a pound-for-pound pound cat prior to the Canelo fight by any means, by any stretch of the imagination. He almost lost to Richards, right? He almost gave the fight away. He gave away so many rounds in the end. Like, I, I think he won. But this could be a draw. He almost gave that fight away. So I got Bavol at six because I, I look, he's got the best win. He's got a win over Canelo. So he's got the best win on the list. But that's really the only pound for pound type of win that he's got. Nothing else makes you really say, wow. And if you picked Bavol to beat Canelo, good for you. You got lucky because there was nothing. Bavol showed you nothing to make you think he could win that fight. What Bavol fight do you think? Okay, this guy can beat Canelo. Nothing. So if you pick with all good for you, I know a couple of you did, not many. You got lucky. Straight up. You got lucky. And I, I put my money on if there's a rematch, Canelo wins that fight. So I put, you know, everyone moves up the spot. I keep Canelo on my list, the bottom of the list. Check out a 3D Boxing Blog. I'll put a link so you can see the complete pound for pound list. Uh, but I have Jamel Charlo at five, Dimitri Bavol at six. And my top five, my top six will do is number one is Usyk, number two, is Inouye, number three, is Spence, number four, is Crawford, number five, is Jamel, number six, is Bavol. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Again, the link to the top 10 pound for pound is in the description. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog. Also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. We'll shortly we'll have the old Texas pound for pound list as well. And obviously, Jamel Trollo and Spence will be high on that list. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. It is May 16th, 2022. Uh, Ivan Calderon still on the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get Ivan Calderon in the Boxing Hall of Fame. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.